It's time for some more Vampire Survivors, as I somehow hope to God to actually beat this with him, because that final wave is so completely out of bounds of everything in sense. Seriously, it's crazy bad at the end. I don't even know what I could use to stop it. Well, Torona's box from the start. Like, I don't want to go armor, but I'm going to have to. I just need as much protection as I can get. And damage, too. First time I thought it was because I maxed out on Curse with Torona's box. With Torona's box and the ring and the Metaglio right. And now I'm just tired because I have to keep doing this and I've lost so much good commentary. Like, oh, hey, he can go through walls. I forgot about that. Oh, Spellbinder is here. It, uh, block duplicator to clear is more damage. And I need damage desperately. Oh, there's a tractor. Well, that's already off to a fast start. Oh, it's maxed me out. Like, I made fun of the Atlanteans so much. Talked about crowns and the screen going to be complete nonsense. Now I'm getting none of that. I never will. I'm being mystified about the fact that you can spawn in multiple Metaglio rights. And stalker jokes, because he showed up again. But now, it's the third wave down. And I'm sour. I'm a sour puss. But I didn't. Dang, double glitch. Hey, there should be a candy box that shows up. I can use that to get Armadillo. And then pick up something else, too. I, I can't play. I have to get as many things hit as I can. Oh, my damage is actually pretty bad. I did pick up some old Sanctuary, right? Yeah. There are plenty of things. And you know, I never know if the audio is going to still be working correctly by the time I post this because of the way I shuffle and shimmy. Mech, maybe if I had that last revive, instead of having it inexplicably show up because maybe I guess I got shot at one point, that could have helped. Or if I had gone to the chickens, but no. Still, Final Wave is vastly overtuned. Oh, there's an Armadillo, which I should use now. Right? No, I should candy box it first, save this one for later, and even if it doesn't work, I can confirm it works like that. I don't need it right away, it's for later. They don't level up. They're not HP times level. They're just a flat 250. Boosted up by curse to 375. Then tripled. So they have about a thousand health. They have over a thousand health. So I should basically have been one-shotting them. Considering I was doing like 400 multiple times. And there's Santa Water. And whoever comes here is going to be in for a world of hurt. Okay, just straight on to the next doors. No muss, no fuss. Cross. I don't want to do it, but I'm going to have to get awake. And get awake early. That way, in case I fall ahead of time, I 
right, get your Jisoo from Armadillo. I have to strategize. No, oh, there's one golden egg. At least I'm getting golden egg levels. Oh, me and Aura Logan had spawned in. That would have helped too. All right, Metaglio left. I didn't have it last time. I really wouldn't have done anything. Slight boost to health would not really have changed much. It's, kind of, it's weird, but I want to say this kind of has a weird Mega Man X. The music has a Mega Man X flair to it for some reason. Okay, anyway, I, I talked about it earlier. And I'm not probably might not be able to show it off now, but if you don't grab Metaglio right and probably anything else. Oh, wait, I shouldn't have deleted. No, I can read. Never mind. Uh, anyway, it seems that if you don't grab uh, or if you discard it, then it'll keep showing up. So if I grab that cross, discard it, it'll probably keep sh showing up back up on later ones. So it doesn't get flagged correctly or something. Crab battle. Go away. This is not the kindling war. There's silver ring. Silver ring. It's better than gold ring. Anyone who says otherwise is lying. Lying to your face. Don't let them lie to you. Like they did to me. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, yeah, like I said in both the other videos, really being able to actually dig, being able to hear the dang game again. If I wanted to do that, I had a really jank setup I could have done with, like, only doing... Well, have one headset plugged into the controller to hear the game, and then have the other one as the mic to record. Candy box. All right, let's see if I can armadillo here, and then grab the other one here. Yeah, it looks like that'll work. Wow, that's far off. Yeah, strategization there. Clover's on the map. Crown will be more damage overall in the end. Turns out it did matter. Arcana. Alright. Time to get Cerebon Day of Healing, because what else am I going to do? Well, Disco of Gold, I guess. That could have probably saved me. Somehow it feels more even cheesier than going awake, though. Alright, let's see if I can get some luck right away. Alright, max that out, then I guess find some chicken to bob down down with. Boy, I hope the audio is catching correctly. Not having it attached directly to my mouth is making it be very paranoid about it. I mean, it's caught, but will it be tinny all of a sudden? I don't know. Yeah, it's not like I can just set and forget it. Because I have to switch between positions. Since this is played on console. And I stream on the computer. And my setup is very awkward. Okay, I should have the win done at this point. If I lose with six revives with Awake backing it up, that'll get me up to... 17 armor. Damage is an increase, so I should only be taking one from them. They only do 15. Where's that box? There you are. I wonder if Armadillo can be Candy Box 2 Turbo Edition. No, go away, chicken. I don't want you. Maybe I should find a small hole way. Try and concentrate them in that way. 
I mean, it's... Well, no, I can sneak in the room, one of the room's back door, through the wall. Then they can't escape because the door counts as a solid object. Well, not here. Yeah, I think. Yeah, no. I have to... Okay, this is about as good as it's gonna get. Okay. Alright, this is Fort Victory now. And hopefully it will be enough between all this setup and it's enough to take down this wave. And I will keep forgetting about this every time I come to this stage. Lose the first video. Get annoyed, lose the second video, and then finally come around to being this dopey end game strategy. Man, having only three passes is going to cause trouble. Oh, right. And incidentally, one of the mobs here is a predator from Predator. You know, I know they have a proper name and expanded universe stuff. I just don't remember it. Now, Xenomorph, that's very easy to say for alien. Or ways you on or whatever they are. Much more difficult to know off the top of the hand if you're just very casual. Like I. Jeez, Drowner. Oh, wait, you're not going to get hit at all, huh? Oh, what? Think this should be a hallway, right? Well, Norologian really would have helped at other times. Okay. Alright, I know this is a room, so let's get them bouncing good and plenty. Okay, yeah, this is the small room. So this is going to be the greatest concentration of firepower I can muster. Let's watch the horror show begin. Yeah, look at this nonsense. This is without curse or anything else. One revive popped. I have 12 armor and they're still chewing through my health like nothing. And it lasted 15 seconds. Almost got up to 20 that time. Yeah, what a ridiculous ending wave. I don't think there's anything in the game that compares to that. Boss rash you can deal with. That was with Sarah Bondi too, boosting me up. Yeah, that was a rough one. At least the next time it's going to be easy. Right? 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 Okay, that actually succeeded, so Vampire Survivor is Gyorun Tin. Let's go over to Astral Stair and completely wreck whatever credibility I was trying to build towards. At least I can deal with the cosmic eggs. They're slow. Oh, right, turn this off because it's annoying. Damage. How could I lose? Can Labrador, how could I lose? Spellbinder, how could I lose? Empty Tome, how could I lose? Dang it, I was hoping I'd, how could I lose my way to everything? Da 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 da! Alright, bonus stage. I mean, there's Nothing but what's on the map. Unless what's already evolved. Huh. I have not been thinking straight all... Whatever time it is. Without seeing the sun, it's hard to tell.
Yep, there's the stagey killer guy. Blam. Bim blam, blam blame. Spin edged. Corona's boxed. Where'd you go, fake Ambro Joe? What's my last one again? Duplicator. They have no future. That look, your rune tin is on the case. Oh, portraits of failure. Oh, do not get close to that. Not yet. Not till I max out my damage or something else. I can go over here, though. Tell these guns where they can stuff it. Hey, duplicator. What am I doing? Okay, getting close. Can I ever maxed out? Good, that was a nice level up storm. Eight. Eight is just around the corner. And so is a starburst. Can't stop that starburst peel, huh? Good. You do nothing. Oh, should have waited. Okay, just stand in the middle. Let it play out. Gold. Ah, demon. Not gonna stop it. Oh, he even got close to me, jeez. Just a nothing chest, eh? Alright, I guess I'm gonna save the rest of them for Cosmic Egg Alright. More light sources tend to show up here. And I can sort of wedge myself in here and basically go in unstoppable. And then it's whatever time is left. Sure, I could have checked it before I actually started. But, well, we're 165 episodes in. Clearly, it's not something I'm ever going to learn to do. Just what I was talking about. I don't get better. I only get worse. Just sort of the exact opposite of a lot of people. You know, they get better, they learn things, and I don't. I have no pattern recognition. As seen is the fact that I keep posting videos. Ha 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 ha. Thanks for watching, folks. Hope you have some Vamp or Survivor's phone on your end. Why am I doing that? All oh, right, chill crystal. I mean, surely I won't need a wake. With this level of speed, I should just be able to run circles around and be able to wall break. Oh. Curse you. Wait, dang it, are they just... Very durable by default, or they HP times level. I should have checked that. Oh, oh, what are you? Oh, candy box. I'm a time. That's so incredibly helpful. Well, just in case, let's get a tier Jisoo. Oh, hey, a small clover and a Reaper Stalker. That eh, that figures. This time, you stand no chance, green man. <laughs> I still don't know if it's time-based or if they actually do take ticking things. I mean, Red Mask totally gets it. Or the re two of them. Are you kidding me? Two stalkers? Oh boy. That's just that just figures. A character that could easily outrun them so another one has to spawn in. Wait, did I just trail through? 
No, I know I've completely lost track of everything. I should go to a golden finger. I mean, once I have out of... Wait, why are they coming in? Why is it going so much faster? It's not like it was that much different. I actually get the cosmic here. Oh, it's probably like two kills off or whatever. Yeah, if I get out of bounds, it should clear it all out in no time. Well, when I get out of bounds, it'll clear it out in no time. I really should save them for when the cosmic eggs come up. I can just dart between them and be invincible. Why do that when I can get cosmic fingers instead? I missed it. No. This is going to backfire again, and I'm going to be frustrated again. But will you be entertained? Now that's the important question. Oh, bronze fingered. Yeah, out of bounds, a skyrocket in that. It's only being stopped by the fact that they're not spawning in all that much. Yeah, I can't waste the last one till the cosmic egg. Colliding. Man, it's getting really big for some reason. Bye bye, guns. You'll be. Fellerine to Terrorine in another ram. Let Pagnala take your rambunctious center. Wait, why was it Zia Santa instead of Pagnala in the trailer? Is it because of she was just used and emergency me? Stop starbursting me, holy crass. Good gravy. Good gravy. I'd say this is one, but it's also what I thought about laboratory, and that turned out to be three levels of disaster. Oh, no Super Candy Box 2. Game of the Year edition here. I wonder when it'll start docking it from my pay. The only reason the audio even sounds like this is because I can't move it closer to myself right now. Because of the terrible situation with my desk. Well, I guess it's desk in air quotes. Now I set the oral logan on the back end. Alright. Let's see. Well. Okay, I am recording. I'm always going to be paranoid about this. So much failure. So little success. First of the cosmic eggs is here. You do no contact damage. Oh, you do some. Well. I well, thought it would be less. But still. Yep, that figures. Alright, I have two Cosmic Fingers and Aura Logan. Cosmic 1, burn that till the end, then grab the Aura Logan till I can get to the second Golden Finger. That'll give me like a couple minutes, like maybe about two minutes of invincibility total. Vampire Survivor Strategy, you never thought you'd see the day, eh? Well, I suppose it's more here at this point, considering what's going on on screen. Man, I envy people who can keep their audio consistent. Mine is nothing but nightmare after nightmare. Now I'm wiping out the Atlantean cloaks for no trouble, at least. Good, good. Or I could move it in the middle of the screen and not see my character. Ooh. Yep, 
And once again, I will be behind schedule. There's another golden egg. Cosmic egg. Wait, you're only one, so if I keep you on the end of the screen, I can avoid this. Or you could just die before you even fire off the infinite corridor. No. Wait a bit. Wait till they spawn, then get it. Then... Yeah, spawn a ton of no futures. Let's sneak around. Uh, charge through. Oh, I'm getting a couple. Oh, I'm actually getting a surprising amount of them. Wow. Really? Oh, Aurora Logan, now you're all frozen. Not even... Nothing stops the Aurora Logan. Not even death. Wait. Yeah, they're all fighting and off on death. They're frozen. They can't... Wait, no, it could be independent. I know certain things can be independent like that. But yep, that was no trouble, surprisingly. Well, that's it for those two. And then we will be going back down for some Operation Guns action. As they will be taking on the stage they didn't before. With the second wave rules, which means Hyper Hurry Inverse. Silent Old Sanctuary, well, probably Silent Old Sanctuary, with their base weapon only. It's going to be a good way to test them out. And with far more difficulty than it should have been, Laboratory has once again been conquered. And we put on some Astral Stair Pain as well. That one was no trouble. Yeah. Man, that tri blunder wave at the end is just insanely overtuned. I don't think there's a single wave that's remotely as bad as it. Anyway, like I said, next up we're heading back over to Bill. He's going to be doing Hectic Highway and then something else. Probably a long stage. Well, actually it'll probably be Hectic Highways and uh, going down the list or whatever. Till next time. Thanks for watching. I deeply appreciate anyone who has liked, disliked, commented, or subscribed. If there's any builds you want me to try, give them a comment down below, a subscription to support the channel, and a like or dislike, depending on your preference. I appreciate any support you give me, and if you'd be so kind as to do it if you haven't. Otherwise, I hope you have a good day, and keep messing around with this Vampire Survivors being every stage with every character challenge.